the Bernie Champion cheerleaders, and you're watching big game coverage on KSAT 12. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. The big game and our big game coverage in Bernie tonight, where the Alamo Heights Mules looking to take over the district lead from the Champion Chargers. The Mules defense starts off with a bang. Gage Maples jumps the route, comes up with the interception, and he is turning that into a pick six. The 48-yard return gives Heights an early lead in this game, 7 to nothing. But the Chargers kick right back here. Running back Alex Rodriguez fighting his way up the middle of the Mules defense, stretches the ball over the goal line to tie the game at 7 all. The Mules would kick a field goal, take the lead back, but the Chargers respond again. Quarterback Carson Kaiser is about to run, but spots Ryan Brandon open in the flat and pair connect with an 18-yard touchdown and a 14-10 lead. But then came the play of the game. Third quarter for Alamo Heights quarterback James Selby backed up against his own end zone with a snap of the ball at the half-yard line. He finds John York one-on-one -on -one with the defender, and he's got it, and he's gone. 99 and a half yards of the house to take the lead, 16-14 to after the extra point was blocked. But now we're in the fourth quarter. The Mules take the lead back with a defense again. This time it's Connor McGrath stepping in front of the intended receiver, and he's bringing it all the way back. This time for a 62-yard pick six to give the Mules the lead 23-20 to in the fourth. Let's see if that's gone final. It has not, and that is where the score is right now. A Johnson Major Ag getting ready for halftime. His number two ranked Jaguars looking to stay undefeated on their season against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Riders who are in third in district. Jags go up 21 nothing to start the game when we arrive and adding to that, that's Jags quarterback Ty Reeser with the pump fag and then he takes off picking up 26 yards before he's pushed out of bounds with the Roosevelt 11 yard line. Johnson would keep it on the ground with the option read by Reeser and he goes up the middle to extend the Jaguars lead 28 to nothing. But look out the Rough Riders respond by scoring 21 unanswered points including this one to pull within seven is a five yard quarterback keeper by Dwayne Coleman. But Johnson has another touchdown left in them before the half. This time it's running back Matthew Rodriguez gets the four yard TD the hard way and Johnson leads Roosevelt 35 21. Let's see if that has gone final still in the four Johnson leading 49 28. Let's head to Hero Stadium where the Churchill Chargers went looking for an upset of the Reagan Rattlers who are number five in 12's top 12 undefeated in district play second only to Johnson. We're in the first quarter no score Chargers quarterback Christian Smith with a bootleg he finds Caleb Harrison who looks like he's going to be stopped around the 35 but somehow he breaks free then high steps out of one tackle then gets tripped up just short of the goal line to save the touchdown but picks up 73 big yards next play the Chargers go right up the middle Michael Dottie for the two yard TD and a seven to nothing Churchill the final from heroes it is 35 to 7 Reagan off we go to Linhoff Stadium tonight where the Clemens cheerleaders had every reason to be in a great mood the Buffaloes are already up 21 to nothing over South Sand in the second quarter going to add to that Buffs quarterback Max Dinamenico goes to Jameer Dudley in the end zone who makes a great contested catch over the defender for the 20 yard touchdown to go up 28 nothing Clemens is not done running back Torian Smith rumbles in from four yards out is now a 35 point lead let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard now for the first time tonight for the finals here 35 to nothing Clemens over South Sand Alamo Heights and Bernie Champion still going at it that is in the fourth quarter still up in Bernie elsewhere tonight Johnson over Roosevelt 49 28 that is in the fourth Reagan over Churchill that is a final 35 to 7 Taft Raiders looking for an upset tonight at Ferris Stadium as they went up against the six ranked Warren Warriors who are ranked number one in district 29 6A with a 4-1 record Taft quarterback Justice Hurt connects with a wide open wide receiver Isaac Jackson for a 24 yard gain down on the Warren 20 using the pass to open up the run as Diego Martinez goes straight up the middle he's able to get all the way down to the two and then a couple of plays later Sean Brown caps off the drive with a touchdown to lift Taft to the early seven and nothing lead the final from Ferris Taft with a big upset tonight 35 to 14. Steven cheerleaders dancing for joy tonight at Gustafson Stadium as Falcons hosted the Harlan Hawks who's the big bird tonight. Steven's leading 13 to 6 in the second quarter. Harlan trying to catch up quarterback Cannon Williams throwing a perfect strike to Andreas Spriggs for the 38 yard score. Now the Hawks are within 1.13 and 12. The final from Gustafson Stadium is Steven's Falls to Harlan. Harlan gets a big win tonight, 37-34. Say hello to the cheerleaders at Panthers Stadium. Lockhart taking on Medina Valley. Home team up 7-0. The defense holding on. Senior Tyler Magnum reads the deep ball perfectly, wins the battle in midair for the interception at midfield. Panthers fired up. The defense holds the lead. They win 7 to nothing. Strike up the band. The number one ranked Pope Pirates in 12's top 12 sub 5A poll are taking on the undefeated record on the road tonight to Natalia where they're facing the Mustangs. Down 12 to 7 second quarter. Both running back Jaden Fangman takes a handoff, finds a hole, goes through the line, untouched for the 45-yard touchdown. Tack on a two-point conversion and field goal later. And at the half, it was 18 to 12. Poe, let's head back to the big game coverage scoreboard to see if the Mustangs were able to pull off that upset tonight. They did not, though, but it's still in the fourth quarter. Hasn't happened yet. 33-26 
Ridge. Poth is leading in that game. Medina Value saw that one. 7 0. That was that way in the first half as well. 35 14. Taft over Warren. 37 34. Harlan defeats Stevens. The Mighty Mustangs in Jefferson High School facing the Edison Golden Bears in the Tommy Bowl at Alamo Stadium tonight, where in the first quarter there's no score. Edison quarterback Brandon Gonzalez throws a tight spiral all the way to the end zone for a 34 yard touchdown toss to Danny Pena, who makes a nice catch over the defender. That makes it 7 0 over Jefferson. The final from the Rock Pile. Edison gets a win, 23-6. The Randolph Rohawks on the road tonight in Poteet to take on the 10th-ranked Aggies in 12's top 12, 7-2 on the season. We're in the first quarter. There's no score until this. That's when running back Wesley Rawls takes a handoff. He's off untouched to the end zone. They get close around the 20-yard line, and he's taking it to the house for the 62-yard touchdown to put Poteet on the board. First 7-0. And the final from Poteet, they needed all of that, right? 14-7. Poteet gets a win. Concordia Lutheran making the trip to Antonio from Tom Bowl tonight to face the Apaches. And Tony wasting no time getting on the board. Quarterback Zach Schwalen with the play-action pass to Maddox McDonald, who's able to get by two defenders on his way to a 20-yard touchdown. Apaches go up 7-0. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard we go for that final and more. And Tony with the big win tonight, 34-10. Poteet needed that touchdown you just saw to get by Randolph tonight, 14-7. Edison over Jefferson, 23-6. And this game had to be canceled tonight between Navarro and Young Men's Leadership Academy. We have much more to come, including our big game coverage road trip fan cam more scores and more highlights than anywhere else in town but first let's listen to Lavernia Bears marching band <laughs> 